Goitrogens are a substance that, in large doses, can aggravate the thyroid and actually inhibit the production of thyroid hormone. So should you avoid them if you have an underactive thyroid? Cruciferous vegetables such as cauliflower, broccoli and cabbage are the richest source of goitrogens in our diet. Theoretically then, eating these foods will be bad for your thyroid. However, context here is so important. Goitrogens only appear to be a problem if you are severely iodine deficient, which is incredibly rare in developed countries. If you have a goiter, or you consume ridiculously large amounts of cruciferous vegetables. This whole idea that goitrogens harm the thyroid really took off in the mid-1990s. Rats fed a diet rich in raw cabbage suffered thyroid problems after 60 days, even with optimal iodine intake. However, for the purpose of that study, cabbage made up a whopping one-third of the rat's diet. For a human to eat this amount of raw cabbage for 60 days straight is impossible. Then there was a standalone case study of a Chinese lady that overdosed on goitrogens. She was diagnosed with severe hypothyroidism after eating an estimated 3.3 pounds or one and a half kilos of raw bok choy per day for several months because she believed it would help control her diabetes. She did not have hypothyroidism before this. So assuming you don't eat phenomenal amounts of raw cruciferous vegetables every day, then they are safe to eat. In fact, cruciferous vegetables are so nutrient dense that they are doing you much more good than harm. Additionally, cooking cruciferous vegetables and other foods containing goitrogens are thought to greatly reduce its potential impact. A small study in 10 subjects showed that eating 0.3 pounds or 150 grams per day of cooked Brussels sprouts for four weeks straight had no negative effects on thyroid function. So if you don't have a goiter or an iodine deficiency, then cruciferous vegetables are safe to eat, especially if you cook them. So yeah, don't eat too much delicious raw cauliflower or raw broccoli. The risk only outweighs the benefits if you eat cruciferous vegetables raw in ridiculously large quantities for a very long time frame. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to click the red button below the video to subscribe to the channel.